There he is. Benoit, mon ami. Merci beaucoup pour le temps. J'apprécie. Thank you very much, Ariel. I'm very happy to be here with you. And uh, yeah, I, I, felt, uh, I felt all that, uh, that joy and that, um, um, that mixed feelings of having all the French people uh, uh, behind me. It was amazing to have uh, uh, this kind of support. It was crazy. So, um, okay, so let, let's start here. Uh, you fought um, almost two weeks ago in Miami, and this was such a big fight, and we talked before the fight about the jump in competition and you're the co-main event, et cetera. Obviously, it didn't go your way. How are you feeling both physically and emotionally after this fight? Because I know it was, you know, a fight that you obviously wanted to win, and it ended in uh, somewhat of a scary manner. Yeah, a lot of mixed feelings because... Um, during this, uh, I had, um, it's weird because I had one of the best training camp of my life, but I had uh, the worst fight week of my life. So, um, my coach always says that, uh, you can, uh, you can lose a fight during the fight week. Uh, so, you know, I, 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 I have been fighting a very tough guy. Uh, I have a lot of respect of him, but for him, but, uh, like you said, uh, I love this comparison to to the match uh, um, fight with GSP. Of course, I, I want to go back at him, and I hope he's winning. Uh, if the fight against Makashev is going on, I hope he's winning, and I hope uh, um, I will do uh, the right job to to get back at this place to to have him in front of me. Um, and uh, yeah, the, the the worst fight week because uh, I had. Um, for, for, I had a very bad news for my health, you know, uh, um, but I just couldn't cancel because, um, uh, you know, it, it can happen to everybody to be sick on fight week. Uh, we have two legs and two arms. We are humans. You are, we are not robots. And uh, I was hoping that with the treatment I took for, for my staph infection, I was hoping that um, uh, after five days of taking uh, antibiotics, I, I would be... Uh, um, uh, in in a good health and uh, uh, at least at ninety percent um, and be ready to to have this this huge opportunity and to be uh, able to give him a good fight also because uh, out of respect for him uh, I would have loved to have a, a bit more energy to give him more than five minutes you know uh, uh, but uh, yeah it was very difficult I was tired uh, the whole week with the staff infection and. Maybe this is also my fault. I came, I came a bit too heavy. So with the treatment I took, um, the the weight was not going down uh, as usually, and I had two more kilograms to cut uh, before weight cut. It was too difficult, and uh, I paid uh, that um, the day after. I, I had no reflex. I, I was uh, yeah, I was uh, out of form. You know, when I do my uh, warm up, usually. Uh, we do a warm up with tennis, tennis balls where you have to catch them, and usually on on every every given day I will catch maybe seven or eight of ten. And uh, on fight day, usually when I'm doing it, uh, my reflex are where I'm uh, I have the adrenaline going on, and I will catch nine or ten out of ten. And this time I was like at uh, two or three. Uh, yeah, I was very slow, very slow. Yeah, my kick was sloppy as well. You can see my first kick at two minutes after the beginning of the fight. The first middle kick is terrible. In my fight against Eliseo Zaleski dos Santos in the third round, I was in better shape than in the first round against Poirier. So it's my fault, you know. We are professional. Uh, we we are trying our best to be at the best shape possible. So yeah, training camp was amazing. I I I. I at the end of training camp, I, I could apply my strategy for five, five rounds, put pressure on guys. But uh, yeah, uh, shit happens, and God give us sometimes uh, uh, stuff to to uh, difficulties in our life. I'm blessed to to be very happy and to to um, to have this fight life that I love, and uh, to to have had this opportunity. And uh, now I, I need to get my ticket back to earn uh, such an opportunity again. And I want to show that this was, um, of course, even uh, in good health, maybe I would have uh, gotten knocked out by Poirier. You know, he's a great fighter, amazing fighter. I hope I will uh, 
work my way back to to having uh, this kind of opportunity um and to show uh, that um this day uh, uh it was not the god of war in there but uh, um uh, that uh, i will give you uh, my best uh, again as soon as possible so i will make the adjustment to uh, to try to be at my best uh, for a fight because a fight against a guy like this uh, you you cannot be uh, diminished when did you start to feel and notice that you were battling a staph infection? How long before the fight? Uh, two days before uh, leaving, uh, so it was last sparring session. I had this um, this ugly stuff on my my forehead. So I sent you some pics. Yes. Yeah, so we and, have the uh, pictures uh, from your your wife and yeah. you. You sent us the, the uh, and we could show it right now. So you know the photos that I'm talking about. This is gruesome stuff on your forehead. Um, yeah, no, it, seen... it was two days two days before leaving France. So last last uh, Friday was the last sparring session, and I le- I, uh, I have been leaving Saturday. And uh, but you know, um, uh, out of respect for everybody, you have to take treatment right uh, when when you notice something like that. So I called off you, of course a doctor, and we try to figure out um, a process to to try to be in the best shape possible and to make the fight happen and to. Uh, to be in in a fight shape that is good enough to 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 be um, uh, respectable for your opponent and to give the people the fight they want to see because you are the main event of such a huge fight. Um, for me, um, it, it's important to to be able to give the people what they've uh, paid for because uh, the UFC it's a war machine. When you come to an event, uh, guys they are putting uh, money uh, out of their pockets to to see a good fight. On me, I'm working my ass off to give them this fight, as well as the opponents, or um, especially a guy like Poirier, he's, he's there for a while. And I was very excited for the fight, but uh, yeah, yeah, it's always like this Murphy Law. So I had that on Friday, and uh, we try to to treat it as much as possible. But like everybody saw uh, in the st- in the staff of the UFC during the the week, I was um, I was very angry, very. Um, uh, turned off on the uh, even DC, he, he, he remarked it uh, on the. Uh, I think it was Wednesday. He asked me about it, and uh, yeah, I was very, uh, I was very tired and very unhappy about the situation. But um, uh, it is what it is. I, I, I was also um, thinking about all the Olympians that are going to be competing uh, soon, as they are representing their country. They have. Uh, uh, a ticket to shine every four years. It happens to them. You have to show off anyway. So uh, uh, it is life. On like a guy like Dustin or like Adia. I talked to Adia during the fight week. Those are the guys inspiring me, and I'm sure they all have uh, already been fighting with uh, um, in 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 uh, in bad health uh, for many reasons. They are warriors. They want to. Give the people the fight they've um, been coming to see. So I I was honored to be there to give the people to try to give the people the fight uh, they were there for. Uh, but uh, yeah, I can guarantee you, uh, um, it was the the worst feeling I had in my life uh, going against a guy like this, knowing that uh, I had uh, uh, just a couple of minutes uh, in me, especially when I was in his back. You know, I I managed to get the back. Um, I don't know how, but I managed to get in the back, and I felt like bicep, biceps cramping. I could, I could not choke him. It, it was impossible for me to, to get the choke because um, it was too much energy, you know. But this is where I thought, by I told to myself, you can't see when he gets up, you know. I won the first round, but I'm the one in uh, in, in despair because I know it's over. I, I couldn't take the opportunity there. Not enough energy, so in the second it was not going to be better. And you know, a lot of people they are saying, "Man, you are too open. When you are dead tired, you can put the be- the, the best technician in the world. When you are dead tired, uh, you you are going to be open." And I couldn't see the punch. You know, against Elizier, I I took. Um, I think I think Elizier is not as precise as Dustin, but he, it's a very hard. He's a big welterweight. You know, he has been knocking out St. Strickland, for example. Uh, he was eating harder, but uh, I was I was not in the in the health condition I was against Poirier, so I could take the punch. 
I could get my hands uh, back to my head and stuff like this. Like I tried the motto of my former regiment, who does wins, but uh, uh, who, who lose pays. So it's 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 uh, it's a fight game. And like I said, uh, heads off to Poirier because uh, even in good health, you don't know what would have happened. You know, he could have knocked me out anyway. He is very precise. He's methodical. Uh, but I'm very, um, yeah, I'm very frustrated because uh, I managed to to get the fight uh, kind of the dynamic I, I would have liked to, and uh, just I didn't manage to have the energy to uh, to put on um, the the type of fight I wanted to do. So I tried my best, and we will, we will uh, work on for, from that. And uh, like you said, it's. Uh, and I will give the UFC more wars. They know it. And uh, I'm getting back uh, back to work. Uh, like Paul you said, you have to go back to work. Uh, take your time and go back to work. And that's why, uh, what I'm going to do. And uh, I'm going to work to have the opportunity to have uh, my revenge against him. And uh, to go back to that title contention and uh, back uh, in the rankings. And and just curious, was the fight ever in jeopardy of of getting canceled? Like when you got to Anaheim and the UFC saw you, saw your head, the doctor saw you, the commission, did anyone threaten to cancel the fight? Uh, to Tuesday we had the the, the debate. Uh, Tuesday with the team we had the debate, um, uh, but it, it didn't took long time to. Uh, to co- convince myself to 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 make it happen anyway, because uh, with a staff infection, sometimes uh, in five days you're getting in be- in a better shape. Sometimes in one week, sometimes in eight days. The problem was with the stress and the um, the weight cut, um, the infection. Um, uh, I my my body didn't manage to to do both things. I mean, I didn't manage to. To cut the weight, uh, being on a very strict diet, and in the same time to treat the infection. So maybe I, I, it could have been something that worked, you know. Uh, maybe uh, if I had less kilogram to lose, which I, I will work on for the next fights, maybe um, I would have been in a very big, uh, good conditions, and uh, and it would not have affected me uh, this way. And uh, so I had to try. I had to try, like I said, who does wins. You know, uh, in 2018 when I started MMA, and I, 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 in 2019 when I stopped my my career in the French Special Forces, uh, I applied this motto and it worked. It worked well. You know, today I'm a very happy man. Like I said, I'm I'm living my life uh, doing what I love. So. Um, yeah, it's part of life, and it is fighting. And I had a great opponent in front of me, so um, uh, he did his job. And uh, you know, I want to to go uh, as fast as possible back to this win column and give the people uh, uh, full energy, uh, um, a god of war they like to see, uh, somebody that is going to put even more pressure in the second round, like I did against Thiago Moises, and. Uh, and and to be ferocious in out there, uh, this is one what I want. And to be in good health, I will work on my weight and on everything, so I a, a better version of myself. And add up to Poirier because he, yeah, uh, for the for the time he, he, he last it was a good fight, and uh, I would have loved to give him more than that, but um, it, it is how it is. Uh, did you suffer any serious injuries in the fight? I, I'm looking at your face right now, and I, I can see on your your right eye it's still black. Yeah. Uh, did you break your nose, your orbital, anything of that note? Yeah, just the nose is uh, without uh, you know without any uh, movement of it. It's uh, slight slightly broken, so this is why I have still a little hematoma on the on the right eye. But anything else is uh, is okay. So I'm already back on uh, on my bike and. Um, and uh, you know, uh, um, slowly uh, getting back to work. And uh, I take my time. Be, uh, I will take my time, and uh, the nose will make me take my time anyway uh, before uh, going back to art sparring and stuff like that. And um, yeah, I, I want uh, to get one fight before UFC Paris, and then to to be at UFC Paris and uh, to be able to do uh, at 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 least two more wars this year. And uh, 
Yeah, and to fight, uh, like you said, to fight my place back huh. to to this kind of guy, and if possible, in the best uh, world, because he's a great fighter, and uh, I believe he has his chance if he fights Makashev, even if, um, uh, like you notice, um, I felt like the, he, he does one mistake that uh, I explode, but I couldn't explode. Uh, uh, I couldn't use good enough, but that Khabib has shown and Oliver has shown with the back exposure. So, like Makashev already said, it uh, um, this is one of the paths of victory to to Dustin Poirier is to take his back and to shock him out. Even if if he fights well as hands, um, if you are in good shape, it will be more tiring for him than for you. So, at some point, it breaks like Oliveira managed to do on the. On uh, Khabib as well, but uh, in those two fights, he managed to crack their shin a little bit as well. So, yeah, I'm curious about this fight, and I hope he wins. So, yeah, I could have the the best story possible, uh, getting two victories and uh, maybe uh, getting back to him. And and uh, the UFC hasn't announced it yet, but uh, the last two years, UFC Paris has been in September. You think you can get one fight before September and then fight in September? I thought maybe you would be out till September, given the nose and just everything your body has been through. You think that's doable? Two fights in the next six months? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Uh, I like to fight. I love it. Uh, um, it's it's the first time ever in my life that, that I, I get uh, knocked down. Um, uh, on the I I do strongly believe that it's partly due due to my conditions. Uh, it, it could have happened maybe any way, but um, I do believe that usually I do talk, take those shots a bit better, and uh, that uh, I uh, yeah. And uh, I hope I will get one fight before UFC Paris, and uh, I believe it will be late. September UFC Paris because we have the Olympics. Right, right. So I don't think they will put it as early as usually. Uh, usually, um, it's very early in September, which would have been difficult to be uh, uh, able to do two uh, one fight before it. But if I fight, you know, uh, end of June or July and in September, it will be great. Okay, that 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 makes um, obviously a little bit more sense. And do you have when when you're thinking about the road back to the Poiriers of the world? Who who would make sense for you next? Who would you like to fight? Uh, there's a lot of guy I want to fight. Uh, I don't know if Dayush has a fight booked. Uh, uh, I know this is a fight uh, the UFC was looking for before Poirier. Um, yeah, it would be a huge fight, a huge opportunity. He comes off a loss against one one of the young guys of the the, the lightweight division, and uh, yeah. Any fight against somebody in the top 15 is a great fight for me. And um, I, I'm not going to ask the UFC for too much, you know. You have to deserve it. Uh, and uh, um, like I said, uh, I want to... I don't want the easy way, so they can give me anybody inside the top 15. I will be happy about it. Do you regret going through with the fight, given your condition and the result? Now, no- it's, it's difficult to say no, but... Uh, in the same time, it's it was the kind of situation where you never know, you know. Yeah. Till the morning, uh, till the morning, you don't know if you're gonna recover or not. So um, I had to try, uh, out of respect for him and for my staff, for everybody that has has been uh, putting on this fight. And uh, yeah, I tried my best, and uh, there is no regret. Uh, it's a fight game. Like I said, he's a great champion. He could have knocked me out anyway. Um, it, it, it just, I'm, I'm unhappy about my performance uh, because I, I didn't feel, I feel like I, it was not the god of, of war out there. It was, a, um, yeah, the wish version, you know. So uh, it's not, yeah, it's, uh, it's a very, very uh, um, um, frustrating situation to be in. Uh, especially the day of the fight, uh, you know, at, you 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 do the muscular uh, warming up in the morning. You feel nothing is good. You say maybe I will take a sleep. Uh, you sleep uh, from uh, from from one p one to two p.m. 
you you wake up you say okay still not there and then in the night you you try your best but yeah it's uh, especially i got a guy like this who's taking his time yeah yeah it's uh it's a very tough situation but uh um i'm happy about uh, the support i had um everybody has been giving me uh um, a lot of support on uh, I'm very happy uh, about the career I'm very happy about the opportunities the UFC gave me with this fight and uh, I can tell you uh, I will be back and I, I'm working on it uh, I will correct what can be uh, corrected and uh, um, of course uh, I hope uh, this will never happen to me again to to have this kind of uh, unfortunate experience but uh, it is also life and maybe it's his destiny to to become champion. Uh, it took time. Uh, it took a lot of time for him. Or not, he never gave up on himself. Uh, so yes, it's uh, like uh, like guys like him on RDA are the career like. Uh, it's not uh, the most constructive career, uh, but they go back and forth and they go out there back and back again, and they they do their job. So. I will be. I will be back. Well, uh, I have no doubt about that. Um, we've seen this time and again. Uh, fighters who are coming up, you hit a roadblock. Like I said, you dust yourself off. You get right back on there. You eventually fight for the belt, become champion, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You have all the makings of that fighter, and I have no doubt that you will get back there. I appreciate you coming on, Benoit, to talk about this. I know it's probably not the easiest subject. It's a lot easier to talk about a win but uh, says a lot about you that you would come on to talk about this. And most importantly, I hope you feel better. Uh, you know, the head seems better. The forehead seems better. It seems like it's all cleared up. The eye, the nose, everything. And uh, le, le coeur aussi, if you know what I mean. The heart, I'm sure, is a little <laughs> bit damaged yeah. too. So I, I hope you feel better and we can see you back in there in full strength, full health, feeling good, looking good, and uh, see the, the, the continuation of the, uh, the career that you're building. Thank you very much, Ariel, and uh, yeah, cheers to everybody that is following the 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 fighters and their journey. Uh, it's a difficult but uh, very uh, very happy and difficult world, but uh, we love it. It's life, and it's uh, yeah, we just enjoy the process. And uh, yeah, cheers to everybody. Thank you, Benoit. Talk Thank to you soon. All the best.